Welcome back to Post Time. We've all heard the expression, like father, like son. But these two boys I'm about to tell you about also have their mom to thank for a characteristic called speed. Bid Quick is a two-year-old who won recently in 159 and 3 with a wire-to-wire -wire effort. He's owned by Lloyd Arnold and trainer George Teague Jr. and driven by Montreal Teague. The freshman gelding is the son of Quick Pulse Mindale and his mother is Bust Out the Bid. This mare raced in the late 90s and was a major force in the Phillies and Mares Open on the Delaware circuit. She ended her career with almost 390 grand and just shy of 50 wins and was a track record holder at Harrington Raceway and Dover Downs. And there's another youngster who visited Victory Lane recently and his name is Quick Bell. He broke his maiden in 158 and 4. This freshman side wheeler is owned by Kovac Stables and George Teague Jr., who's the trainer. Quick Bell's dad is also Quick Pulse Mindale. But Quick Bell's mom is Santa Bell Valentine, whose mom is the incomparable Santa Bell Island. So basically, to put it in human terms, let's just say that Quick Bell's grandmother is Santa Bell Island. She was a world champ who raced from 1996 to 2002, won over 1.6 million, finished first, second, or third in 90 of 110 starts. 57 of them were wins. Sanibel Island competed against the best mares in all of North America and took a mark of 115-4. Montrell, you're the driver of Bid Quick and Quick Bell. I remember Bid Quick's mom bust out the bid. Now she raced from 1995 to 2000. So <laughs> we're laughing because I just can't even imagine how old were you then? In 2000? Yeah. Um, Maybe like 10. Really? Oh yeah, because what are you, 20 now? Yeah, 1991. Okay. Does that sound right, Robert? My camera guy, he's the mathematician around here. All right, now, Sanibel Island, who is the grandmother, okay, of Quick Bell. She raced from 1996 to 2002. Do you remember Sanibel Island at all? I just remember the name. It seemed like a really, really good horse. Everybody was talking about her, but I never seen her race. This is how we keep track of our ages in harness racing. So when you get to be my age, you're going to look at the program and you're going to be like, I totally remember when that horse's grandmother used to race. <laughs> All right, the other thing I want to talk to you about is Daily Double Mania. Uh, tell me about that, because that's kind of been a pattern in the Teague Stable. Uh, we've been pretty fortunate that some of our horses got to be in the first and second race, and. Uh, they really matched up with the competition in that race in the first and second. So uh, a lot of our two-year-olds got a lot of experience, good experience from winning their first race in Delhi Double. Yeah, I noticed three different days in particular where you drove the horse and your dad trained and you won the first and second race on the card. So if you're coming to Harrington and you see Montrell driving and his dad down his trainer in the first and second race, that's that's that w I would say that's a... a well, we don't want to say a sure bet here on Post Time. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna put a disclaimer on that. Um, it's a what do we say? Should we say seventy five percent, or should we go higher? Ninety. All right. It's All right. <laughs> All right. myself now. <laughs> oh no no, there's no jinxes on Post Time. <laughs> Thanks, Montreal. Thank you. One mare I know Montrell remembers very well is Rainbow Blue. When she was three years old, Rainbow Blue won 20 of 21 races, earned 1.2 million. Montrell's dad, George Teague Jr., happened to be her trainer, and that filly went on to be named the top standard bred of that season in her sophomore year. So, my brain teaser for this week is. What year was Rainbow Blue voted Harness Horse of the Year? It was the same year that the Red Sox won their first World Series since 1918. And the ultimate date movie came out, The Notebook. I'll give you the answer after this.